Welcome in everybody to TYT Sports. So this is an absolute pleasure because not only have I not seen this beautiful man's face in such a long time, but now we get to talk some football with him. It is two time Super Bowl winner, my dear friend and someone I truly consider a mentor, Bryant McFadden. Hello, BMAC. What's up, Rick? First and foremost, I love the Steeler gear in the background. That, that's a great way to welcome you with open arms. Hey, we could only do it for you, all right? We don't do it for the millions that watch our show. It's literally only for you, and that's why I requested that we put it up. So look, you know that I'm a Chicagoan. You had to go up against this guy, I'm sure, in your playing days. Devin Hester retired, and he's 35 years old. My question to you is, and I know the answer, Denise knows the answer. Everyone who follows football knows the answer, but I'm asking you, is Devin Hester Hall of Famer? Yeah, I think he's a Hall of Famer. Now, will he get in? That's another question. Um, because when you look at the dynamics of the Hall of Fame, especially at the specialist position, returners, they haven't been able to get in. And for Devin Hester to get in, first and foremost, I believe Brian Mitchell should get in. Mm. When you look at his overall body of work, it's impressive. Now, when you consider Devin Hester, when you talk about Devin Hester, many feel he is the greatest returner in the NFL. That could be an argument between Brian, Brian Mitchell and Devin Hester, but Devin Hester put that position on a different stage. The way he returned, the way he used his skill set, how fast he was, being able to make defenders miss, sometime going the wrong direction just to go the right direction and made a highlight of it. That was impressive. But before Devin Hester was, was making those unbelievable plays, Brian Mitchell was doing some of the same things. Not in that fashion, but he was extremely productive. Not to mention, this is a guy that was so consistent. I think Brian Mitchell was the most consistent returner in the game. So for Devin Hester to get in, Brian Mitchell should get in first because he's been retired much longer than Devin Hester. But I believe Devin Hester, he should, he, he should be a, a, a Hall of Famer. Now, will he get in? I don't know. And the crazy thing about that, Rick, Denise, is that Morton Anderson, mm -hmm. he's in the hall. Ray Guy, he's in the hall. And if you're going to have a few players that kick the ball to get into the hall, why not have a few players that return the balls get in also? So I agree with you. And I understand your guy about Morton Anderson. I understand your point about Ray Guy. I completely understand it. But to your point about uh, Brian Mitchell, and I think he should be in as well, but he didn't do it in a record setting way that Devin Hester did. So although that we've seen the aesthetically pleasing uh, aspect of making guys miss and game planning around somebody, Devin Hester is literally the best to ever do it. Granted, he did it uh, he, he, may, he may have done it better setting records, and that's why you see him number one for punt return touchdowns, number one for total return touchdowns, what have you. So I understand your point about Brian Mitchell, but we also didn't see Mitchell do the same things and set records the way that Devin Hester did, right? Well, the, the records are a little different. That's misconstrued because, yes, Devin Hester has the most return touchdowns in NFL history, but there has never been a returner to be as consistent as Brian Mitchell. When you look at his average per return, he's tops in the league. When you look at his return yards totally, he's tops in the league. When you look at his attempts, he's tops in the league. So yes, like I said earlier, remember the first thing I said, Devin Hester probably is the greatest returner in NFL history, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. But before Devin Hester, who was considered the greatest returner in NFL history? Brian Mitchell. Probably Brian Mitchell. Yeah. Exactly. So if one get in, the other have to get in. I don't, me personally, I don't mind who gets in first, but I think based on the age difference, when you look at Brian Mitchell, he's been retired for so long and he just was up a year ago, if I'm not mistaken. Clearly, he would, he should get in first because Devin has to wait, what, five years before he's even eligible. Correct. And I think if Brian Mitchell gets in anytime in between these, the, the five years that Devin is waiting, that's an easier entry for Devin to get into the hall, in my opinion. There seems to be some hesitation, and obviously, like not every player that sometimes we really truly believe should be in the Hall of Fame gets to be in the Hall of Fame. So, what's one thing that that'll hold Devin back from just being the Hall of Famer that we think that he deserves to be? Well, if what's I like had his to, weakness, do you think he never was? Outside of a returner, 
he never really provided that consistent impact that many felt like he could provide based on how athletic he was, how skillful he was. He had a few glimpses here, here or there at the wide receiver position, but he never was that guy that could be a reliable number two wide receiver right. or at times consistently a number three wide receiver. And when you look at his time in Chicago, his prime years when he was probably putting up some of the best numbers as far as a returner in his career, oh yeah, that's it. And when you look at a guy that can dominate the game like he did as a returner, you would assume that he would be able to provide some type of consistent production at another position, preferably on the offensive side of the ball. Right. And that could warrant, uh, it could be a roadblock for him to get in as easy as we think he should get in. But at, at the end of the day, if he was a specialist, and that's what he did, and that's all he did, but he did it extremely well, one of the best to ever do it. I think he, that he should still be able to get in, but you may have some naysayers say, well, outside of returner, right. I mean, you look at it like this, if, if we decided not to kick the ball to Devin Hester, and yet we might give up quality field position, but if we don't kick the ball to Devin Hester, what is he actually doing? Well, he's outside. The thing, the thing is, and I totally understand your point, but the thing is, if you don't kick the Devin Hester, you're probably going to give up that many more yards for the Bears offense to operate. The problem was you had a revolving door of shittiness at the position where you had Rex Grossman and you had Caleb Haney and you had so many other guys that just couldn't even last in the league except for Rex Grossman as a longtime backup. So I agree with you. Let me ask you this, though, B. Did he just make you look foolish? Is that why you don't want to say right now, off the bat, absolutely, he's a Hall of Famer? Did he do something to you in those back-to-back 50-reception no. years? Is it personal? Great, great. <laughs> no, no, no. Outside of Devin going to Miami, no question. I, I love Devin as a player, great guy on and off the football field. But remember the first thing I said, Rick? Hmm. Yes, he should be in the Hall of Fame. Right? Yes, I know. That's true. I understand. That's the first thing I said. I said, yes, he should be in the Hall of Fame. Now, will he be a first ballot? No. I don't think so based on that position, not getting guys in. But first thing I said, Rick, was no question he should be in the Hall of Fame. And then I went on to talk about Brian Mitchell because, you know, me personally, I think Brian Mitchell has really the job that he 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 did during his playing days is kind of going unnoticed. Right. And maybe now with Devin retiring and we will have more of these discussions about should he get in, that can put more of a light on Brian Mitchell. And I don't care who gets in first. Totally me fair. Personally, but I think if you're going to talk about a returner getting into the Hall of Fame, you must start and stop that conversation with these two guys, Devin Hester and Brian Mitchell. But I got remember I also said Devin Hester is the greatest returner in NFL history. Yes, very much so. So I, I think he should get in. Uh, will he get in? We have to wait and see because he has to wait, you know, to be eligible, to be up for the Hall. But I'm glad that we're talking about this discussion because returners are a very extremely important. And I also said too earlier, remember, if you're gonna have the guys that kick the football get into the hall, right. you might as well have the guys that return the ball, return the kicks from these uh, kickers, they should get in also. Mm -hmm.